Hello and welcome to Amateur Money, your ultimate guide to managing your personal finance. One of the biggest milestones in life is owning a home, but saving up for the down payment can be daunting. In this video, we'll be discussing some tips and tricks to help you save for your down payment and turn your dream into a reality. In this video, we will share 6 tips to help you save for a down payment. These include creating a budget, setting a savings goal, automating your savings, reducing your debt, looking for additional sources of income, and exploring government assistance programs. So, whether you're a first-time home buyer or looking to upgrade to a bigger home, we've got you covered. Stay tuned for some valuable insights that can help you reach your homeownership goal. Thanks for joining us today on Amateur Money, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more personal finance tips and advice. Before we get started, it's important to understand the costs of homeownership beyond the down payment. These include property taxes, homeowners insurance, maintenance costs, and utilities. When saving for a down payment, it's crucial to factor in these costs and create a budget that allows you to save for your down payment while also covering these expenses. It's also important to have an emergency fund when saving for a down payment. This fund can help cover unexpected expenses, such as car repairs, medical bills, or job loss, and prevent you from dipping into your down payment savings. When it comes to the down payment amount, most lenders require a down payment of at least 20% of the home's purchase price to avoid private mortgage insurance PMI, and get better loan terms. However, it's important to understand the pros and cons of different down payment amounts and how they can affect your monthly mortgage payments, interest rates, and overall financial situation. Once you know how much you need to save for your down payment and have factored in other homeownership costs, it's time to create a plan. Here are some tips that can help you save for a down payment. 1. Create a budget. Review your expenses and see where you can cut back. This will allow you to free up more money to put towards your down payment. Consider creating a spreadsheet or using a budgeting app to track your expenses and find areas where you can save money. 2. Set a savings goal. Determine how much you need to save each month to reach your down payment goal. Make sure your savings goal is realistic and achievable. You can use online calculators to estimate how long it will take to reach your savings goal based on your monthly savings amount. Don't forget to include any closing costs, moving expenses, or other related costs in your savings goal. 3. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to a savings account specifically designated for your down payment. This will ensure that you're consistently saving money and reduce the temptation to spend it elsewhere. Some banks also offer round-up savings options, where each purchase you make with your debit card is rounded up to the nearest dollar, and the difference is automatically deposited into your savings account. 4. Reduce your debt. Paying down your debt can free up more money to put towards your down payment. Plus, having less debt can improve your credit score and increase your chances of getting approved for a mortgage with better terms. Consider using the debt snowball or debt avalanche method to pay off your debt faster. 5. Look for additional sources of income. Consider taking on a side job or selling items you no longer need to generate extra income. Every little bit can add up quickly and help you reach your savings goal faster. Consider using online platforms like eBay, Amazon, or Facebook Marketplace to sell items you no longer need. 6. Explore government assistance programs. Some government programs offer down payment assistance for eligible applicants. For example, the Federal Housing Administration FHA, offers loans with lower down payment requirements and down payment assistance programs. Be sure to research and see if you qualify for any of these programs. You can also check with your state or local government for any additional programs that may be available. By following these six tips and considering other factors such as your credit score, employment history, and debt-to-income ratio, you'll be well on your way to saving for a down payment and achieving your homeownership goal. Remember, the journey to homeownership takes time and dedication, but with a solid plan and commitment, you can make your dream a reality. In addition to these tips, it's also important to consider other factors that can affect your ability to save for a down payment such as your credit score, employment history, and debt-to-income ratio. Your credit score is an important factor in determining the interest rate and terms of your mortgage, 
so it's important to maintain a good score by making on-time payments and keeping your credit utilization low. Your employment history is also important, as lenders will want to see a stable income and employment history. If you're self-employed or have a regular income, you may need to provide additional documentation to show your income and stability. Your debt-to-income ratio is another important factor that lenders will consider. This is the amount of debt you have compared to your income. A lower debt-to-income ratio can increase your chances of getting approved for a mortgage with better terms. While these tips provide a solid foundation for saving for a down payment, it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or mortgage lender before making any major decisions. They can offer personalized guidance and advice based on your unique financial situation, helping you create a customized plan that works best for you. Remember, saving for a down payment is just the first step in the home buying process. You also need to consider factors such as location, home type, and mortgage options. But by taking the time to save for a down payment, you'll be one step closer to achieving your goal of homeownership. Thanks for tuning in to Amateur Money. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more personal finance tips and advice.